succeeded. From that, I want us to go to a breaking story. News just reaching us is that High Court Judge Justice George Odunga has suspended the case against businessman Jimmy Wanjige. He has stopped the court in Nyeri from proceeding with that case against businessman Jimmy Wanjige. And this application was made at the High Court seeking to quash the summons um, requiring Jimmy Wanjige to avail himself in the Nyeri court. This was filed by one of his lawyers. Uh, Nelson Harvey once again. High Court Judge George Odunga has suspended that particular case. He has stopped the Nyeri Court from proceeding with a case against a businessman, uh, Jimmy Wanjige. He is uh, being accused, as per the charge sheet, of uh, being in possession of prohibited uh, firearms or importing prohibited firearms. And in a short while, I will be having a conversation with one of his lawyers, Nelson Harvey. Remember, yesterday he foiled an attempt by Jimmy Wanjige foiled an attempt by uh, police officers to arrest him around Forest Road by locking himself up inside his bulletproof vehicle but was served there and then uh, along the Forest Road uh, highway and uh, uh, he was uh, expected to appear before the Nyeri court today. He did not appear. His lawyer did on his behalf. And uh, from the ruling that was made today by the judge at the Nyeri court, he was required to appear in court on March the 5th, which is Monday. But the high court has since now stopped that particular case, a ruling that was made a few minutes ago by Justice George Odunga here in Nairobi at the Milimani Law Courts. Let's speak to one of the lawyers for Jimmy Wanjigi Nelson Harvey now, joining us by way of phone. A very good afternoon, uh, uh, to you, Nelson Harvey, thank you for making time for us. Um, just expound for us the kind of court orders that have been given there by Justice George Odunga from the High Court. Well, uh, Justice Odunga has made three orders. The first one is to grant leave for Jimmy Wajiki to commence proceedings to court the entire summons and charge sheets together with whatever action could have taken place before the Chief Magistrate in Nyeri today. The second one is to prohibit uh, the Inspector General of Police from proceeding with any charge or any criminal case against uh, Jimmy Wenjiki without compliance with the directions that were given by Justice Kimaru on the 6th of February, that uh, if at all Jimmy is required for investigation, then he must attend the DCI headquarters as Mazingara. Now, the third order was to suspend the entire summons, the charge sheet, as well as all proceedings that are taking place before the chief magistrate in Nyeri. The effect of this is that uh, Jimmy Wenjiki will not be required to appear before the chief magistrate uh, on the 5th of March until the determination of the case that has been filed in Milimani. Now, this case was filed on the basis of three main grounds. First one being that by the time the police officers attempted to seize Jimmy Wanjigi yesterday, there was already a court order that required the police to, to, to investigate and uh, question him within Mazingara and not otherwise. And in the event that they were to do so, they were not to arrest or detain him. That is number one. Number two, we made it clear to the court that there is no reason or justification whatsoever as to why Jimmy Wanjiki should be required to appear before the chief magistrate court in Nyeri, yet the offense in respect of which he's being sought is one that is alleged to have been committed in Nairobi. Our point is, and this has found satisfaction with the judge, the intention of the police is to have Jimmy Wanjiki on the road for a long period of time with the possibility of kidnapping him and holding him in comunicado, as was the case for Miguna Miguna. And the court has stamped its authority and said, we cannot allow things of this kind to continue being perpetrated by the police. So then, um, uh, just for the sake of our viewers, has uh, this particular case been suspended momentarily or is it for the long time? Explain to us what will happen in the next coming days with regard to this particular case. It's been suspended for the long term until the challenge that has been filed in Melimani is determined. How long would this probably take? Ordinarily, cases of this kind uh, take uh, up to a year to determine. We'll be back in court on the 10th of April to be given direction. So between now and uh, the time that a final judgment will be given before the Judicial Review Division, no action can be taken 
in the Nyeri court. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Uh, Nelson Harvey there uh, joining us by way of phone on uh, that Jimmy Wanjige case. So once again, uh, the High Court Judge Justice George Odunga has suspended the court proceedings in the county of Nyeri um, with regard to uh, the case against uh, uh, businessman Jimmy Wanjige until when the application they have filed uh, the hearing is complete as per what Nelson Harvey tells us. Our reporters uh, are on this particular story. They will continue giving us updates.